Let's get through these new products as fast as we have to go with them very fast. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Go, go, go. What, yeah. What are uh, the new products for you this week? Okay. First up, we have a new version or a modified version of the inductive charging modules. We had these in five volts, and now we have them in three volts. And I can even show a little demo over here. Um, so this is a one watt white LED. So this is a three volt, basically, LED. Um, and it draws about 300 milliamps. And it's connected to this coil. And this coil is inductively coupled with this coil. So as it gets oh, closer, yeah more power is transferred. So you want to have it be kind of coaxial, and you can see as it gets closer, more power is transferred. So you can use this for, if you want to do a waterproof project and you want to power it or charge it through something, you can have plastic, wood, whatever, anything non-metallic in between these two coils. Um, you know, the, the more current, closer it is, but you can have it up to 10 millimeters away or so, about yeah. a centimeter, and still get maybe 200 milliamps so wireless out. charging, basically. Wireless charging, DIY wireless charging. Okay. And this is the three volt version, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next up, this is a power supply. There this are many is, like them, but this one is ours. This one, we <laughs> wanted to have a power supply that was bigger than our two, two amp power supply, but smaller than our 10 amp. It's uh, FCC and UL certified. These are really, really nice chargers, uh, um, sorry, uh, power supplies. Five volt, four amp, Really great for that time when you want less than 10, more than two. Yeah. And okay. the price is kind of nice too, it's 15 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna zoom through these really fast. These are buttons. Everybody loves these buttons. Yeah, these are tons of them. Um, buttons that we have that are um, both momentary and latching. And they come in white and blue. So I'll show this one is momentary and then this okay. one. So this is, the white one, so it's got a nice white LED, and then I can uh, unplug it from power. So you can see it's it's white when it's off, and they're panel mount, and they're pretty low cost. And the switch is separated then from the button, so you can have the button turn on when the light, or the light turn on when the button's pressed, or vice versa, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a locking version of the blue one. So let me get this blue one out and quickly swap these. One second. So this is the blue one, um, and the nice thing about this is it locks. So it's you know open, it's off, and when you press it, it turns on. So this is more like an on-off switch, okay. whereas the momentary are you know you press to close. So two different types, blue and white. Okay, next up. Oh, this is a um, FPC stick. It's uh, a 0.5 millimeter one. I've been doing a lot of stuff with. Um, displays that use FPCs, a 0.5 millimeter pitch, and I developed this board actually for my use because I had to like connect to all these different displays and, and adapters and whatever. So uh, I thought it'd be handy. It's just the circuit board. If you do surface mount and you're ever connecting to flexible circuits, this is kind of handy. I, I like it when you them. release tools that you made for yourself because I, I know if you if you're using it, it's very interesting to at least. Yeah. 2,000 people. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of like a high-end um, prototyping SMT tool, but um, 0.5 millimeter pitch is so common. And the way I designed it, you can use any size up to 50 um, pins. So you yeah. can you know place multiple ones if you need to. And it's breadboard friendly, or you can just connect wires. OK, uh, last up, I would say that this is kind of uh, followed by uh, Massimo. This is the star of the show. So <laughs> um, both very bright. Uh, this is our new uh, line of NeoPixel strips, uh, 144. Um, it's too bright, Lady Ada. What's going on here? Like, this is just so bright. Look at it's, this. Uh, it's not only bright, but very <laughs> dense. Yeah. So there's 144 LEDs per meter. So it's more than twice as uh, dense as the LED strip we had before. And it's on extra thick um, flex PCB. So we had the factory actually make it extra thick for us. It's one meter long, and it's 144 LEDs, and it's a lot of LEDs, and it's NeoPixel, so you only need one pin to, to control all of them. Um, this is and how are you kind controlling it right demo. now? Oh. <laughs> An Arduino. An Arduino. Uh, using Philby's awesome Arduino code that he wrote. Um, so yeah, this is just like a super high density LEDs, and it comes in both black um, with white LEDs here. Is that Adafruit it's black? Adafruit black. I think it is. It's official Adafruit black. <laughs> We've, uh, we've trademarked that. And also white PCB um, as well. So compared to the shoes that we have, the shoes are 60 LEDs per meter. And you can see that these are twice as dense. Yeah. So these are pretty intense. They are more expensive because just 
there's so many damn LEDs, but you get 144 individually addressable, 24 bit color, ultra bright LEDs per meter. How can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Super bright. Boy. Super dense. Many of these, uh, many of our LED products are on the playa right now because yeah, we well, definitely a week before had... Burning Man, there's the Burning Man meltdown. There is the Burning <laughs> Man meltdown. Where people are like, oh my god, I need, I didn't buy enough stuff. Can you overnight it tomorrow? Can I, I show have up this at project? <laughs> and I told people I'd work. I, I came up with it the day after Burning Man ended, and then yeah. I put it off for 11 and a half months, and yeah. now I got to do it. I've been, I've, right. I've, I've, five years, so I've definitely okay. done it myself. Wait, Ada, that was new products. Okay. You did it. I was I had to go fast. You went fast, thank you.